up at 3 a.m. with the money worry. Anybody? <laughs> Any takers? The 3 a.m. money fear. <laughs> I'm not going to make my mortgage. Oh boy, I'm sweating <laughs> in my armpits. <laughs> when you wake up at 3 in the morning. Yep. Miss Clark, what do you do? Well, I've not been waking up at 3 in the morning. No, hypothetically. No, I'm just saying, I used to. Right. And I'm not anymore. So tell us how uh, you got out of the fear, anxiety, worry, I'm not going to be able to pay my bills, chokehold. Because we know that doesn't bring you money. No. That brings you more lack. Because yeah. all your energy is sitting in, I don't have enough. I don't have enough. There is not enough. Here's what I did. There was this really interesting moment hmm. where a whole bunch of things happened in two days. Mm -hmm. I owned it. You owned what? I owned my purpose. Ah, your vision. You're magnificent. Yeah. Um, okay, so. The reason you're here. Yeah. Am I going to choose to cut myself off again for the 50th time mm -hmm. in this span of 10 years of my life? Or am I going to try it a different way because maybe life is trying to tell me something? Are you home? <laughs> right? Yeah. So owning it and then giving myself permission and saying, I give myself permission to do whatever it takes to move forward. If I truly believe I'm going down this road, then I need to believe I'm going down this road. Mm -hmm. And there is one thing that I realized that I kept hearing these sniggling, wiggling, crazy voices, not really, but you know what I'm saying, that I can't, you can't do this, mm -hmm. you shouldn't do this or whatever. And mm -hmm. for me, it was, I can't do that because it's not quite developed or I should do this but it's not really working for me yet and I need to wait. So what happened to me was I noticed and I had a visual image of a backpack on my back but it was not a backpack. I mean it was like a sack, like mm -hmm. Santa's sack, you know, <laughs> huge and I was like carrying it around all these years and trying to climb a massive mountain that looked very immovable mm -hmm. because the faith element for me was not there. Mm -hmm. This backpack was, was eclipsing the faith, eclipsing the abundance, eclipsing this vision of me going, I really do know that I can do this. And what I had to do mm -hmm. was I literally had to say, uh -uh, I'm not going to should or could anymore. I'm going to cut the straps off of that damn backpack and I'm going to leave it behind me and I must go forward mm -hmm. because it became a do or die situation. I have bills to pay very soon. Mm -hmm. So what am I going to do? The choice had to happen. Owning, permission, all of this sort of simultaneous and and then me cutting off these straps and going, oh, i got to move forward. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what happened after that. All I know is that something happened mm -hmm. because it was the lightest. It was so beautiful and wonderful. And I went, oh, okay, now I'm, there's nothing restricting me. Mm -hmm. I am in this yielded place and now abundance is just mm -hmm. coming in. Yeah. It, the best way to solve and to, to step out of that thing that you think is super, super rational in the moment yeah. is to ask yourself what you're going to say to someone when you're 75, Absolutely. 82. Because the excuse it doesn't even hold water. So whatever it is, whatever the reasons are, you just have to not let it stop you. You have to, like Lori said, cut the straps on the bag. Uh, the damn bag. <laughs> the damn bag. Santa bag. The Santa. 
and let it drop and move forward and say, well, whatever my reasons are, whatever my excuses are, and well, nobody can speak to your situation. No. I think the world is waiting for authenticity. Oh. Uh, I think the world is waiting for you mm -hmm. to step out and mm -hmm. step into your authentic mm -hmm. who you are and lose this. I have to be this way. Here's what it looks like. Lose it. Lose it. Cut that strap off because guess what? We are all called to authenticity. And it is so important in these moments yeah. to, to step out of what I'm supposed to be doing for people like yourselves mm -hmm. who really desire and have these really weird things like my passion really is this. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not been given to you for no specific reason. Mm -hmm. It has been given to you even if it feels weird. Get out, step out, mm -hmm. move forward and live in this abundance and cut some of this stuff off mm -hmm. and tap into your authentic self. Yeah, and when you do that, you'll have the answer bit by bit yeah. to your questions of, how am I gonna make my rent next month? Yeah. And so nobody, can, I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, you have to have faith. You no. have to just do what we're saying and open the floodgates and the money's gonna come in because I don't know your pathway. No. And I don't know what you're carrying on your back. So what we're trying to do is lead you down a pathway of hopefully as we talk and as we're sharing our stories that you get triggered to go, I do that, I have that, I better look at how I can release that, I better look at how I can get myself free of that. And you know, Lori has lots of resources for you, but you have to direct your journey. So mm. this is not a do this and this will happen no. experience, this is a look to what is really going on with your energy, hmm. with your whole reality, mm -hmm. and break it down to pick out those pieces that are making you go, Goop. everything is connected. Mm -hmm. So to try to move forward and manifest something in two days, mm -hmm. sure, but you're manifesting out of lack. Yeah, you're and saying, then I have to because I right. won't be able to do. But it. then yeah. you get it. And it doesn't even, it doesn't fit the requirement. And then there's something else that goes on. So taking a bit of a spiritual approach or an introspective approach mm -hmm. and reflecting on what you just talked about is, is it's all connected and we cannot separate. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. That's where people start falling off the wagon. Yeah. Because they try to compartmentalize their life, realizing yeah. that, you know what? It's all you. <laughs> all of it. Just your health, facets. your relationships, yeah. your spirituality, your it's money, you. your environment, your living circumstances. It all comes down to one common denominator, and that's you. Yeah. So if you're lacking, if you don't have abundance in any of those areas, it's because you are blocking it in some way. You are choking it. You are sabotaging it. Well, that means I should really deal with this procrastination. Should. Okay, so now that's it. But you might as well nail the coffin. Yeah. Because it needs to be, I must. Mm -hmm. I have no other choice. This procrastination is going to kill me. Yeah. It is now do or die. I have to move forward. Chink, chink, chink. Chink. Yes. It's, and, and I just want to put a little plug in. Um, this all probably feels terrifying. <laughs> That's the plug. Sorry, you're scared. But I have to say, or they, or you think we're nuts, or or, or we're loony bin. But you know what? I also have to say, does it hurt as much as it always? We always think it does. No. See, that's the thing. Healing is a part of the journey, and you think it hurts, but when you take it off in these bite-sized pieces, yes. It doesn't hurt very much. You just kind of go, oh, right. See, they said something about how I could not, I, if I lead with my anger, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, maybe if I come in a different perspective, boom, that can change your life. Mm -hmm. Did that hurt? Mm -hmm. Release it. Yes. Move forward. You must. Amen. Amen.